Let me teach you how to download and install World Edit for Minecraft 1.21.1 so you can do things like this in your Minecraft world. If this video helps you, all I ask in return is that you subscribe. That's all I want, for you to subscribe. And once you have subscribed, let's go ahead and begin with the tutorial. Now, the first step to download and install World Edit is to click the second link in the description, which is a written guide on how to download and install this mod. However, if you want to get straight to the point and not read and look through the screenshots, scroll down to step one and click on this green button here, which is going to redirect you to over here. And then you're going to click on files and you will see all the versions of World Edit. In here, select the 1.21.1 version in the filters. And then let's go ahead and download that 1.21.1 version by clicking on these three dots and then hitting download file. That'll begin the download within five seconds. Now, this file is for Fabric or NeoForge, which you're gonna need and i'm gonna show you how to install one of those later on in case you don't have it and what world edit is downloading here's a message from apex sourcing if you need a minecraft server use the first link in the description and get 25 percent off either a java or a bedrock server a server that supports over 200 mod packs that you could install with just a click of a button a server that has locations all around the world so you never have to worry about lagging or anything like that a server that has online secure connections so your friends could join at any moment without you having to port forward your ip address or host a server on your pc and keeping your computer on the whole time you Use the first link in the description. Something that I personally love about Apex Hosting is that you could create the server and then access the server console through your phone, meaning that you could be away from the house and stuff and still create the server, change the settings, change the settings, access the console, kick people out, we'll do whatever you want. It's your server after all, and you could do all of that through your phone. Anyways, I'm gonna leave that first link in the description for 25% off, and now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now, after five seconds, World Edit should be downloaded, and let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. You can find that file here on your recent download history or within your downloads folder in your PC. Now, once we have world edit if you already have fabric or neoforge installed just go ahead and add world edit into your mods folder and that's it you're done however i'm assuming most of you don't have either fabric or neoforge so in this guide i'm going to teach you how to install one of those mod loaders feel free to choose which one you want to install in this video specifically we're going to install neoforge but you could also install fabric and then add the fabric api and this mod and everything should work out now to install neoforge we're going to click on the third link in the description which is our written guide on how to download and install this mod however again if you want to skip right through the point just go to step one and click download that is going to redirect over here whereas you can see we have this menu here but we could actually scroll down and click for other versions in here and click go to the version list so we could find the 1.21.1 version in here because it is extremely important that the version of neoforce we install is the same version of the mod we're using okay so come over here do what i did just come to the versions in here and select 1.21.1 and then just hit download right here and that'll begin the download right away for the neoforce installer and once we download that neoforce installer i want you to go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop just like we did with world edit in the first step now neoforge downloaded go ahead and drag and drop it over here now we are ready to start the first thing you want to do before installing neoforge is to close the minecraft launcher as well as the minecraft game and then and only then you could right click on neoforge click on open with and then select java and that is going to open the neoforge installer give it a second in there there we go and don't worry if you don't have java i'm going to show you how to fix that in a second anyways once we open the installer select install clients and then hit proceed and the installation will begin and like i was saying earlier if you don't have java you're going to need to install java 21 this is not optional this is a requirement even some of you might have java but it might be an outdated java like java 17 java 8 java 7 something like that the thing is that after minecraft got updated to minecraft 1.20.5 you now need java 21 when installing any mods shaders servers etc so i'm gonna leave this guide in the description on how to download and install java you just download java and then just hit next a couple of times on the installer and that's it you have java 21 and you'll be able to open the installer for neoforge or any other mod loader that you're trying to install anyways once we install java 21 and then install neoforge we're gonna get this installation complete sign in here click ok and as you can see the installer will close down and you could even delete the installer from neoforge as you don't need it anymore all we need is a world edit and i'm gonna show you how to add that into neoforge in a second first of all let's open the minecraft launcher once the launcher opens if we install neoforge properly we should see it selected here automatically as you can see here on the bottom left anyways that doesn't matter because we now need to add the mods into the mods folder and to do that we're gonna head over to installations over here make sure you have modded selected because without modded you actually won't see neoforge so make sure you select it and if you still don't see neoforge just click on new installation name name this whatever you want like for example apex housing and then on the version just look for neoforge here as you can see and then just select the most recent one and click create here on the bottom right to add that instance of neoforge anyways find neoforge in here and once you do that hover over it and click on this little folder icon that is going to open a folder with a lot of files but don't worry because all we're doing in here is looking for a folder called mods mods we need to find that mods folder right here and i'm actually gonna go ahead and delete mine just in case you don't have yours i want my thing to look just like yours so if you don't have mods in here all you have to do is click on new and then click on folder and add the mods folder yourself 
So yeah, you could essentially add the mods folder yourself. It could be a newly created folder. Go ahead and open it. And all you have to do now, guys, is drag and drop the world edit mod into this folder. There we go. We have the mods. We have the world edit added into this folder. Any other mod that you add in here, make sure it is compatible with the Minecraft mod loader that you're using, which in this case is Neoforge. But if you're using Fabric, make sure all the mods in here are Fabric 1.21.1. And if you're using Neoforge, they need to be 1.21.1. Anyways, once you've done that, close out from this folder, head back into the Minecraft launcher, and then find Neoforge in here. Hit play. You might get this little sign in here saying are you ready to play modern minecraft do i understand if you don't know what this means just click on read more about player safety features but most of you already do click understand and then hit play and let's wait for neoforge to open now, once Neoforge opens, we know that we're Neoforge because it literally says Neoforge down here on the bottom left. And we now have this mods button in here that is going to let us see which mods we're using and stuff. But we're still going to go ahead and test out World Edit. Let's go ahead and launch one of our single player worlds. And if you want to use World Edit on a multiplayer server, use the first link in the description. It's your server, so you could add your own mods. And honestly, it's never been easier to create a server than using Apex hosting. Anyways, once we're on the world, let's go ahead and test World Edit. Let me get off from this roof right here. All we have to do is press T and then start using World Edit. Like, for example, let me go ahead and get the brush now we could start changing things setting positions and as you can see we just replace all of that with diamonds so this is what you could do with world edit well not just this you could do a bunch of things with world edit i'm not an expert with world edit but i know how to install it and that's what i taught you in this guide how to download install world edit for minecraft 1.21.1 if this video helped you all i ask in return guys is that you subscribe that's it all i want is for you to subscribe and as always bye bye